here. Today I want to show you five common mistakes when throwing the lead elbow. So we're gonna take our fighting stance on my righty, so I'm gonna put my right foot back. That means I'm gonna be elbowing with my left arm, which is in front. Now, I had a lot of trouble when using my lead elbow. The reason was because I couldn't really turn my body as much. I felt like I was getting stuck and I can only turn so much as opposed to when I did my rear elbow, I felt like I could really, really turn it all the way. So what happens is a lot of the times is that we have too much grip. We're gonna start just from the technical part. The first mistake is that we don't put our palms out. So a lot of times people will put their palm in like this and instead we wanna put it out this way. It makes our elbow a little bit pointier and then that way we create a little bit more damage. The second mistake is not covering ourselves with the other hand. So the other hand can be palm in or palm out, good. But now we wanna cover as much as we can of ourselves because if I can elbow them, they can also elbow me. So we wanna make sure that we cover ourselves, have some defense there with the other arm like this, good. Now, the third mistake is not popping the shoulder forward. Just like we have our punches and we put our shoulders forward, right, to get that power, we wanna be using that shoulder forward for the elbows as well. So when we pop that shoulder forward this way, that way when we pop our shoulder forward, then we have a little bit more power. Now, the fourth mistake is actually not picking up your heel at the back. What I mean is that when I do that turn, right, I wanna pick up this heel just a little bit. I'm not really turning on the heel, I'm just picking it up and then allowing the momentum to take me. If I don't pick it up, that's when you get stuck. That's what was happening to me at the beginning, is that I would get stuck and I couldn't really turn too much because I have too much grip on the ground. What I wanna be doing is picking it up just a little bit and that allows me a greater range of motion. Here, I have a lot greater range of motion as opposed to a nice flat footed, I don't have as much. I pick up my heel just a little bit, I have a lot more range of motion and it allows me to put my elbow and my mass a little bit forward. Now the last one is using your torso. You make sure your core is nice and tight and then you use your torso just like you're doing your punches for the hooks this way, then using your torso, right? And when I use this torso and the shoulders, same thing is for the elbow. When we use our elbows, you wanna pop that shoulder forward, but you wanna use that torso power and core nice and tight, you can't be too strict here. Core nice and tight, you don't wanna go all the way down and turn that torso as much as you can. That power comes from your mass, moving in one motion together and all the way. Now, for how to hit it, you can actually hit it either diagonally or up and down. A lot of times I like to hit it from the top to the bottom because it is usually where it's open, but you just wanna hit the elbow where the opening on your opponent is. So you can incline it just a little bit, and hit right down this way, pick up that foot, shoulder pop forward, other hand covering your face either this way or this way for defense, right? and using that torso to go and get that range of motion forward and all the way through. All right guys, if you have any questions, please comment below and see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. I wanna introduce you to my new book, Fighter's Manual to Cutting Weight and Peak Performance. Make sure you grab a copy down in the description below. I've left the link, will bring you to my website and you can download the book there. This book is packed with information, including fighter tips and training schedules, different eating lifestyles, and five bonuses that will take your performance to the next level. Make sure you grab your copy today, and like always, subscribe to my channel for new content coming up every single week. See you guys soon.